YouTube, it's your boy Spray Paint back at you another video, man. Y'all know what it is when y'all step in the building, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, man. Turn me up, cause we back in these YouTube streets with another hot segment. So we gotta talk about WAC 100 responding to Swamp Stories saying that LA for clowning LA for having a low murder rate. Now I know this sound immature as ever, but the reason why Swamp Story said that he said that is because LA is still living off a reputation that they had in the 90s. Basically saying that bodies not dropping over there like other cities is and LA dudes still trying to act like they hard. Okay, so what WAP 100 explained explain that that means that the OGs before him did a good job. Feel me? The OGs before him that was putting it down because out there in LA, they they really they really prioritize fade. You feel me? Like you gonna get out there and throw them hands. That's how they do it. Now we not finna act like back in the G, LA wasn't real dangerous before they came with all these gang injunctions and all these different type of uh, charges. It was real out there, but at the same time, it is certain dudes out there in LA feel like no city can't be faded. You feel me? Like they act like they have never lost a fight. They act like other niggas don't got choppers. Like it's different, just like the same situation, not to get off subject, but how Brick Baby was trying to belittle them boys down there in Jacksonville. Now, we know Britt Baby like to throw it out there in the air that he's from Rolling 60 and all that. Okay, cool. But at the same time, this a whole nother generation outside that don't care nothing about nothing. See, out there in LA, you know, it's, it's, it's common to hear a nigga say, where you from? You can't do that in other areas, man. You can't do that in the South. You can't do that in the Midwest. You can't run up on niggas asking niggas where they from. I promise you. Them little niggas is going to blow you off the... Man, they're going to blow you off the street, man. It's, it's totally different. And like I said, see, in L.A., like, they, they specialize in, in, in squabbling now. You feel me? They, which keeps the community safe. Now, it'll be different... If other cities, other states can get on the same, get on the same path, that would be good. But ain't no OGs finna tell these young niggas out of state to put them ARPs down, to put them Dracos down, because the young niggas killing OGs. Yes, you mess around and put your hands on them, DPM. Y'all DPing this man that y'all think that he ain't gonna come back and spray all y'all up, man. Y'all crazy. That's how it is. See in LA, you gon' you gonna DP, y'all gonna shake hands and it's gonna be over with. It's not like that. It's not like that in these other places. That's why it's messed up. You feel me? Now, LA brought the LA culture to a lot of cities. You feel me? And to be real with you, it turned it up some some more because these cities was already like that. Especially in the South, especially in the Midwest, they just chose their loyalty towards something that was real, that they thought, you know, that was real for the streets. And they, they tuned in with L.A. But for the most part, they doing things how they want to in these other states, man. It's, it's, it's totally different. But shout out to L.A., you know what I mean? You can't never, you can't never commend them. I mean, you can never say... They, they lame or whatever for having a low murder rate. That's what needs to happen, period, in all these states. From the small cities, like Baton Rouge, Louisiana as a whole, you feel me? Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia, I mean, Midwest. It's dangerous everywhere, man. These little youngsters is out here just deleting people with no mind. Like I said, look at Chicago. 
109, I think 109 people got shot, 19 people got deleted, man. And you already know, nine times out of 10, there was black people that died, man. There's not no white people dying like this from no gang violence. But anyway, <clears throat> he also explained that there's no podcasters that are gang bangers in LA, even him, Brick Baby, Loose Candy, and t Rail. So you know Adam, he had to slide that in and say, you got that right. Because you know, Adam got a little undercover smoke. Well, it ain't even undercover smoke. He still got smoke with T-Rev, you feel me? Which we know they gonna keep it on, they gonna keep it on the podcast level. They not gonna see each other and handle business. But at the same time, if it was still turned to LA like that, Niggas wouldn't be on these podcast shows doing all this goofy stuff like Brick Baby constantly putting it on six. So, like Wack 100 disrespecting Nipsey Hussle, you know what I mean? Disrespecting, well, you know, it ain't been, it's no limit to how he disrespect people, but he disrespected Nipsey saying that it's a gay tape out there, all this bogus stuff. And you mean to tell me he ain't got knocked off? That's how you know things have changed. Because back in the days, I'm pretty sure niggas would have rolled up and did their thing. But it's totally different in L.A. now. It's more, like I say, it's a digital world. They got cameras everywhere. They got face recognition. These Tesla cars got cameras. Like, these phones is different. These phones is the main thing that's getting all these niggas locked up. But on another note, I need y'all to hop in, the, hop in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about Wack 100 res responding to Swamp Story saying that uh, LA murder rate has went down, man. I'm gone, man. The latch off the door is on the floor, fool. I'm gone.